Hello, I'm Dr. Marianne Teitelbaum, and today we're going to talk about the health benefits of Loki squash. Now, Loki squash comes under many different names like Doodhi, Bottle Gourd, Long Squash, and many others. It's a light green squash. You need to peel it and chop the squash into one inch cubes before you cook it. My teacher and mentor, Vajaramakant Mishra, used to prescribe this squash to most of our patients, especially during the beginning of the summer, when the heat's starting to build up. He told our patients to eat the squash two to three times a week throughout the summer to keep the heat from building up in their liver and blood. During the hot season, known as Pitta season in Ayurveda, the heat slowly begins to build in our bodies at the beginning of the summer because the sun is now closer to the earth. If you didn't know how to keep the heat down in the blood and the liver, you may suffer with rashes by the end of the summer or early fall. Or you may get a UTI as the urine becomes hot and burns the friendly bacteria which reside in the bladder, which could leave you prone to pick up a bladder infection. You might also notice more anger as your liver and blood heat up, giving you what are called hot-blooded emotions. Loki squash is one of the best foods to eat throughout the hot season to prevent this buildup, which may occur by the end of the summer. Ayurveda describes Loki squash in the following way. It says that it has a very unique capability of pacifying both kapha and pitta. Now, kapha is the element of coldness in the body because it contains a lot of cooling lunar energy, known as soma. The loki squash contains a lot of soma, which can cool down the pitta. But the reason it can also pacify the kapha is because it absorbs a lot of agni, or heat, from the sun as it matures out in the fields. Yet, it still remains its somogenic, or cooling, properties, which means that it can pacify the kapha at the same time due to its inherent agni, or heat, which it contains. This is highly unusual for a food that is full of soma to be lagu, or light. Usually, foods that contain a lot of soma are heavy, like coconut. There's two components to soma, earth and water. The earth component is heavy, while the water component is much lighter. Coconut has both liquid and heavy earthy soma, which is why it can sometimes clog our physical channels if we don't prepare it properly. But the loki squash contains 90% water, which makes it very light, since it contains more liquid soma and not the heavy earthy soma contained in the many somogenic foods that we know of. So it's light, just like water. In fact, you can melt ghee, add some spices, and just let it cook in its own juices with the lid on, stirring it every so often. It will become very wet on its own without the addition of water. It's in the same family as cucumber and watermelon, both of which contain a lot of water. Water is light and can get absorbed in your body without clogging the channels. So because it's light and can be digested so quickly, it can absorb into your seven tissues very fast. <coughs> the seven tissues are the blood plasma, the blood, muscle, fat, bone, bone marrow, and the reproductive fluids. So usually the food that you eat spends three to five days in each of the seven tissues, nourishing the last tissue, which is known as the shukradhatu, which is the reproductive fluids, within three to four weeks of ingesting the food. But the loki squash digests and absorbs so quickly that it will not take a lot of time to travel to shukradhatu. And the best part of all is that at the end of nourishing our seventh tissue, we make ojas, which gives us great strength and stamina and immunity to diseases. When you see someone's face glowing and they have clear whites of the eyes, you know they have a lot of ojas. So loki squash can make ojas much more rapidly than many other foods due to the transformational power of its liquid soma. Now, this squash grows in the summer and winter, but the summer variety is lighter. We don't recommend using it as much in the winter since you lose the protective power of the sun, which will help you digest it quicker and prevent the coolness of the squash from turning into channel clogging ama. If you do heavy physical labor, you can eat the winter squashes. But most people nowadays are sedentary, so there's less capability of burning up these heavy and tough winter squashes. So we have all of our patients avoid the loki squash grown in the winter, along with all the other winter squashes, such as pumpkin, butternut squash, acorn squash, and others. 
The summer variety of loki squash is especially good for pregnant women since it's very nourishing to the fetus and it enhances shukradatu or the reproductive fluids. It can also bind the toxins from the blood but only does a little detoxifying so it's therefore safe to use it during pregnancy. Usually we don't recommend our pregnant patients do any detox during pregnancy <coughs> or when nursing because we don't want to pull the toxins from the deeper tissues and into the blood where the baby could get them while in the womb or from the breast milk. The ancient text stated that loki squash was nourishing to the whole body, enhancing strength and stamina. <coughs> and they stated <coughs> that if the seven datus or the seven tissues were too low or depleted, that loki squash could nourish all seven tissues very quickly and that you could feel the strength coming back if you ate it several times a week. If you're dehydrated, you can feel it immediately bringing fluid back into your tissues. If you can't find loki squash, then look for the yellow summer squash. Get the crooked neck variety as opposed to the one which is straight up and down. The yellow summer squash contains 100% of the actions of loki squash, while the green zucchini grown in the summer has about 80% of the effectiveness of loki squash. I hope you enjoyed learning about the wonderful health benefits of loki squash and incorporate it into your diet throughout the hot summer months to pacify the heat in your body. Thank you.